Yo, what is up guys? Hope you're all having a wonderful day and today's gonna be the first part of my Halo Reach playthrough on um, MCC and so I'm gonna be doing a whole playthrough on this campaign because it's it's gonna be nice to relive uh, Reach's campaign in better resolution and frame rate. So I am playing on the Xbox, of course. I would do it on PC actually if I was able to because you know you get higher frame rate and stuff like that. But I don't have a beast computer, so you know I'll just stick with what I have, which is fine because you know I've always been a console player. But eventually I would love to like switch over to PC and stuff when I'm actually able to get a nice setup. So yeah, anyways, we're gonna be doing it on normal. And you may be asking why I'm gonna be doing it on normal, and that's because you know I wanna immerse myself. I wanna get into the story and you know just catch up with it because I did kind of forget what happens. I mean, I know Reach gets blown up, spoiler alert. Well, not blown up, but it gets, you know, wiped out pretty much. And the Covenant takes over, you know, all that stuff. But, um, you know, it'll be nice to play it again. And it's always cool to replay uh, games. And this goes for like really any game because I think generally whenever you, whenever you replay a game, you always find something new, like no matter how big or small you always discover something at least that's how it works for me I every time I replay a game I always discover something new that I never noticed back when I did the first playthrough or the third second whatever I always discover something new and it's quite interesting I don't know why it might just be me but uh, you know I think it happens pretty pretty much all the time to me whenever I replay games Ooh, so there we go with the little foreshadowing showing my helmet and as you can see, I do have that ODST helmet. I was actually able to play enough games to obtain the helmet. Although I still need the chest plate and the arms and what what else is there? The arm plates or leg plates, whatever it's called, the knee guards. I still need the knee guards and the uh, the knee guards and the chest plate, the helmet, and I think the left and right shoulder. That's what it is. And I think that's about it. So I do want to not talk during the dialogue stuff is going on cutscenes um, Small talk in game and stuff like that from Marines and stuff Because I do want to you know really invest myself into this story and Yeah, so I Will try my best at shutting up during the cutscenes And of course I believe I do have subtitles on because I think it's always good to have that on just in case you miss stuff or I just think it's cool to have it on. Contact with Visegrad Relay was lost last night. All signals flatlined at 2600 hours. I responded with trooper fire teams, which have since been declared MIA. And now you're sending us. The Office of Naval Intelligence believes deployment of a Spartan team is a gross misallocation of Slash ODST. resources. I disagree. Commander. So that's our new number six. Cat. You read his file. Only the parts that weren't covered in black ink. Anyone claim responsibility, sir? Only thinks it might be the local insurrection. Five months ago, they pulled a similar job on Harmony. Hit a relay to take out our eyes and ears, then stole two freighters from dry dock. That cannot happen here. Reach is too damn important. I want that relay back online, Noble One. Sir, consider it done. Then I'll see you on the other side. Holland out. Lieutenant. Commander, sir. I'm Carter, Noble Team's leader. That's Cat, Noble Two, Meal and George, Four and Five. You're riding with me, Noble Six. Not gonna lie to you, Lieutenant. You're stepping into some shoes the rest of the squad would rather leave unfilled. Me, I'm just happy to have Noble back up to full strength. Just one thing, I've seen your file. Even the parts the Oni sensors didn't want me to. I'm glad to have your skill set. But we're a team. That lone wolf stuff stays behind. Clear? Got it, sir. Welcome to Reach. Why, thank you, Jun, or June. I really don't say know how you say his name. Um, but I think it's really interesting how Noble Six barely gets added onto the team here. It makes me wonder if uh, they already had a Noble Six and maybe he died or something, or I don't know. It could be like another reason. Or maybe it is a complete new audition. They just needed another Spartan to the Noble team. Um, but I think it's kind of interesting. Because I don't think 
I, I don't know, maybe they said it in the beginning, but I think they pretty much said that the last Noble Six or something. I don't know. Listen Let's just get into team. this. We're looking at a down relay outpost 50 clicks from Visegrad. I'm already failing at paying attention to, to the story. Cat's going to get it back online. Get me under the hood, Commander. So, why would rebels want to cut off reach from the rest of the colonies? You got a chance maybe can yeah, ask George. George. Although you'll be asking the Covenant instead. Covenant possibly you might end up on one of their ships and possibly die. <laughs> Nada. Can't say what's jamming us. You heard her. Dead zone confirmed. Command will not be keeping us company All right. this trip. So there's no communication going out or in. And that's why they sent in some troopers. Some like marines or something. And yeah, they they haven't came back or responded or anything. So they're sending in. Or Keys decides to send in a Spartan team. Because he feels like it's important. Because he thinks Reach is important, which I'm sure it is. Alright. Let's stay focused. I love the Falcon, by the way. There's the communications outpost. So that's the relay tower, I guess. That they were talking about. We gotta get it online again or something. Look around, like these settings. Yes. Settings can be changed from the pause menu. Of course. Alright. You know, it's kind of funny how the pilots are always invisible. And I feel like that was kind of something they joked about on Halo Reach in the campaign. June, I want your eyes on the because sky. during the campaign, or on one of the campaign missions, they kind of like show that one of the Marines actually has like an invisibility suit or something. I don't know, it's kind of like a funny Easter egg. It's kind of like an inside Halo joke, I would say. Um, like if you played Halo throughout the years, you would know what that was referring to. And that's because the pilots would be like always invisible. It was just kind of funny. You'll probably see what I mean once we get to the uh, mission, which is going to take some time, though, but... I know exactly which mission... What? Uh... Um... Uh, okay. Okay, Emil. I, Emil's just... Okay, I, I'm not going to say anything. Let's just keep going. Super jump! Oh! Eyes peeled. Can I move the pallets? Oh, he moves it. Can I still move it though? Oh no, it's scripted. That would have been funny. Make out any ID? Negative, but it's military. So where are the troopers? So I guess. Why are we not seeing explosives residue? Noble three, can you confirm any EX residue in the area? Mm, negative, sir. Plasma, maybe. Can't be. Not on reach. <laughs> Oh yes, it, it's on reach. Definitely on reach. So he's just talking about not seeing any marks or something, like bullets and stuff. I assume. Alright, let's keep moving then. I really love reaches. Oh, the Moas, headshot. Oh no! Oh my God! Oh. <laughs> Poor Moa's getting shot down by everyone. I can't help myself. I had to freaking shoot the Moa's. But uh, I've always loved Reach's art style. Like I just love how gritty it is and how like dirty looking it is. You know, like it gives that ultra realistic feel. If that makes sense. Let's see if I can go up here real quick. Hold up a meal. Let me do a little trick jump here. Okay, I guess not. Let's just proceed to the house. Break these pots like I'm playing Zelda. Alright. Yep. I wonder what they're seeing. Look at them. Ask them what they're doing here. Meet Crest to keep. But Namar Katuk in Holly. Hiding, sir. Take Nab Ajem. A Somsi dot Asia Chodlat Yat. She called us us. Neighbors were attacked last night. He heard screams. Gunfire. Stopped around sunrise. Says something in the fields. Killed his son. Skirmisher. Easily a skirmisher. Skirmisher, skirmisher, I don't really know. Tomato, tomato. 
small town Baffoli. Get it? So his son got killed in the fields. And now they're just hiding. They don't know what it was. And I can easily tell it's probably a skirmisher. Which was a new enemy introduced in uh, Reach. And which... It was a pretty cool enemy to fight, I would say. It was definitely unique. It was like the speedster, I would say, of the Covenant. Because the Covenant didn't really have any, like, fast aliens. I mean, I guess the elites are kind of fast, but... Um, they're not, like, super fast like those skirmishers. Alright, let's keep going. Damn. We've got military casualties, two of the missing oh. troopers. Looks like they were interrogated. How could you even tell? It's messy. To me, it looks like they just died. Oh, I pushed the barrel he was laying down on. Whoops, I'm sorry. Don't disturb the, the dead. <laughs> there you go, I, I made it even more comfortable. <laughs> Here, it'll, it'll keep you warm. It'll keep you warm, don't worry. Um. Yeah, that works, you know. Let's just keep going. Imagine dying like that, though. Like, he just got, like, hooked onto this rack. Man, that must suck. Not sure how he can tell they were interrogated, though, but okay. Huh. I wonder if you could actually kill those. Probably not. I mean, it's most likely all scripted, of course, but... It'd be kind of interesting if you could actually kind of find them and just kill them. Get like an achievement or something. That'd be sweet. Right, let's keep moving through these uh, houses. I noticed this symbol's kind of everywhere, so I feel like that's kind of like the reach symbol or something. I don't know. Probably means something. It is a farmer world, I believe. Or at least the part we're on is like the farmer kind of stuff. Boom. There we go. Oh yeah, the troopers are all here. Oh, I got it, Noble One. Actually, never mind. Jesus Christ. There we go. Oh, you know what? Whip out the assault rifle. Hold up. Oh wait, no, they're grunts. We gotta headshot these guys for sure. Man, the pistol, man. I... <laughs> The pistol's so weird on uh, Reach. I think it's because of Bloom. Um, so yeah, that's probably why. Oh, you didn't die? Okay. So I do want to get that needle rifle. That's up here. Let's see if I can get up there. I wonder if there's skulls on... I don't think there ever was skulls on Reach. Could be wrong. Yeah, probably could be wrong. Oh wow, barely has any ammo. I'll just take it. Screw it. Oh, see, that's one thing I loved about... That's one thing I loved about Reach was that you could actually just, like, hold the menu button and see what your stuff does. Kind of gives, like, a little more info on what the gun is called and stuff. Um, I think that's really cool how that's a thing. And I believe it carried on over to Halo 4 as well. And then on Halo 5, I think... I don't think it's on Halo 5, but I think I'm pretty sure it all started on Reach, so that little info screen for the weapons you're using. Kill those guys. Yeah, I probably should have stuck with the Magnum, but because this thing's going to run out quite easily, unless I could land every shot, which is not going to happen. There we go. So yeah, I do probably plan on replaying this on legendary either on my own or possibly with someone else or something like that i don't know if i'll make it into a video <laughs> to the east all right let's go june if you could like let me borrow that sniper that'd be nice I wonder if Jun doesn't even help, does he? I think the Falcon, the Falcon, <laughs> Falcon, uh, the Falco. I don't, or not the Falco. Jesus Christ, <laughs> the Falcon. I don't know if the Falcon actually helps. I think it just kind of hovers over you. <laughs> Freaking Falco. 
I was thinking of uh, Super Smash or something like that. Or Star Fox, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> oh, the Ultra Elites. I believe these are Ultra Elites. I don't really necessarily know. Because they kind of like reworked all the Elites armor and stuff in Reach. Because before it would just be like colors, you know. Now they actually have like their own unique armor, each rank. Alrighty, sounds good to me. Let's go. Got a health pack, but no ammo. Oh, that's very helpful. <laughs> On legendary, it's probably helpful. Alright, into the homemade warthog. I like to call this the homemade warthog because that's essentially what it is. All you need is a truck, a George. That's it. So we're just going to kind of run on by here. The MOAs! Kill the damn MOAs! Oh my god. Screw the covering. We're here for the MOAs. It's MOA hunting season. <laughs> Apparently they could survive freaking getting runned over. Whatever. Um, actually, you know what's funny is that you can actually just go straight to the mission, which I didn't really know back then. But you know, there's like some... It's kind of open world-ish. The first mission, you could go to like two different houses, I believe. And this house has a data pad. I already got it though. I'm gonna go ahead and take this guy's ammo. And then I'm just gonna head straight for the Marines. Yeah, it's just elites and stuff. There's really no purpose in fighting them, so I'm just gonna go. Um, so yeah, it's kind of cool, you know. The first mission's a little open world ish. You could kind of look around and stuff, but after you complete the houses. Like, once you go to the houses, you can actually... You could just go straight for, like, where you're supposed to go. I think, actually, you do have to go through this one. Never mind. Yeah, there we go. Oh, no, here's where it is. Yeah. So you kind of just keep going along here, and then you could head straight for the... Uh, kill the Moas. Oh, I didn't even kill one. And, yeah, you could kind of explore, or you could just head straight for the mission objective, which is over here. Which I'm just gonna do. Cause I just I've never done this before, so I just wanna do it. See what happens. That's kinda interesting, I don't know. The troopers. Cause if you took your time and went to the other houses. I don't know, it's kinda weird. Cause you shouldn't know that you're supposed to go here, but you can still go here anyways, which is kinda cool. I don't know, I just kind of wanted to do it. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool how you can do that, it's just all I'm saying. Although I've said it like a thousand times already. Oh, look, we got a truck here. I didn't even know that. Can you actually drive it? What? You can actually drive the truck? <gasps> Does it come down? Oh, no, it, does. it gets stuck. Whoa. Okay. Hold up. Excuse me. Carter, move out of the damn way. Friendly. Oh, really, man? I didn't know that. Oh, I can't. I could probably nade it. But, whatever. You can use it as cover, though. Look at that. All the strats, dude. Right here. New legendary strat. Legendary players. Right here. Here's a new strat. For the beginning mission. Just freaking... Drop that truck and you're good. Got yourself some cover. The homemade warthog becomes homemade cover. Kill this grunt. Get rid of these elites. The elites are so annoying to fight in uh, Reach. Because they're a lot more agile. Did I just get stuck? Oh, that kind of scared me. But yeah, the elites are so much more agile compared to all the other Halo games. It's kind of funny. Like, they dodge so much more. It's freaking crazy. Look at that. They actually use, like, strafe techniques. Get away from me! Oh my god, get away from me. I was about to get eaten by Moa's. Get that good old assassination. Die! There we go. Oh, I'm low on ammo. So we do end up saving some troopers, so that's nice. Um, actually I'll take that. There we go. Let's go! 
All right, let's get out of here. What about the troops? Where are they going? <laughs> are they just staying on reach? They're going to get annihilated? Look at that. The bridge is destroyed. It's kind of cool seeing that the bridge is destroyed. This is something... Alright, so, um, the bridge. It's kind of cool seeing stuff like that. That's something I noticed when I played uh, the first mission on Legendary on my own. I didn't know that the bridge was actually destroyed, believe it or not. Um, I didn't notice that when I played back then. And I was like, wow, that's really cool because that means the Covenant was definitely... Well, I think it definitely was the Covenant who blew up the bridge. And they pro probably did that because, you know, they didn't want word to come out that they were on reach. And so they probably blew it up so no vehicles could escape and stuff. So yeah, it's, it's just it's just cool how you can, you know, replay games and just see stuff like that that you've never seen before. And there might be some other stuff I miss, I don't know. Whoa, my sensitivity did... Okay, that was weird. I love the music as well, man. Halo music has always been good. It always fits in with each game. All because of the god tier Marty O'Donnell. Let me go up here real quick. Because I know there's a DMR. If you didn't know, you guys, there's actually a DMR here. And an armor lock. Whoa. Alright, I'm gonna scope some enemies from here. Hey, look, a good. I just. <laughs> see, this is what I mean. I did not know this is actually. I didn't know you could actually kind of hide here and use it for cover. So I'm gonna do that. This could actually be probably good for legendary, maybe. Wait, why am I hiding here? It's not normal. I'm playing like as if it's legendary or some harder difficulty. <laughs> I'm just hiding there. I don't know why. I, th I think it's because I've been playing a little too much competitive that, you know, my in in instincts are just to, like, take cover and shoot and stuff, you know, <laughs> and just do stuff like that. Oh, freaking elites, man. They could just kick you. They're like giant kangaroos, I swear to God. <laughs> Their legs are like, they have kangaroo legs, dude. It's funny. It's great. I think my favorite design for the elites, like in terms of art style, I would say. These skirmishers. Oops, I forgot I can't sprint, I keep pressing it. Um, but I think probably it would probably be the Halo 2 elites. I just really love the Halo 2 elites. But to be honest, I oh what the hell? <laughs> Wait, I actually died on normal difficulty? What? Wait, how did I die? What? I'm actually confused. I'm generally confused. How did I die? I, I, I honestly have no idea how I just died. I guess I'll just have to rewatch that myself. What the heck, man? That was weird. Armor lock. Probably the most hated ability in Reach. Although I guess people can say that jetpack is might be the top one. I think armor lock is probably the most annoying ability. In uh, reach, and you could agree or disagree, but I honestly I think it's just it's annoying. It's really annoying. It's fun to use when you like use it against vehicles and stuff, you know. But like, if we're talking competitively, it's really annoying, <laughs> and that's why I got t taken out. I don't know. I feel like it kind of ruins the skill because when you're about to die you literally all you got to do is hold the armor lock and if your teammates are actually you know if you actually cooperate like a team you know someone could throw down their armor lock and their teammate just covers them and it's kind of just like a cycle and it, it, I think it's just kind of dumb um, I think it's fun for social games and stuff but competitively it's so awful what the hell Okay, you know what? No more dying. I don't know. <laughs> so 
Something just keeps instant killing me. I don't know what it is. Here, let me get rid of armor lock. I don't really need it. I'm actually generally confused. I don't know what's killing me. I just... It's like the game just instant kills me because I'm not inside. Alright, I'm gonna stay inside. So Cat's just trying to... To lock this door. So that we don't get slaughtered by the covering. Although that's already happened like twice. So... <laughs> Jesus. Oh, oh my god, did you see that aim? That was wonderful. I feel like it might have been the ship. It just one-shots you sometimes. That's so weird. So I'm going to play, play it extra safe. I'm just staying here. Oh, Zeus. Oh, it's a suicide grunt. That's what it was. It's definitely the suicide grunt that killed me. That has to be what it was. There's no way it's nothing else. Because suicide grunts always instant kill you. Come on, cat. Don't let Noble Team down. Throw some stickies. Carter, get in. <laughs> oh my god. Is that a fuel rod? Maybe it was a fuel rod. That guy, freaking Carter just got blasted. <laughs> oh my god. There you go, cat. Not sure where you did there. Oh. Whoops. Hey, that kind of looks like... Never mind. <laughs> let's, just, let's just move along. Never mind. Alright. Check your corners, boys. Check your corners. No? Hey, look, a health pack. Can you actually use this? I would assume you can, but... kind of. I always found it kind of funny how it's there. <laughs> wonder if you can actually use it. I would assume so. Oh, look, you can actually see... I think that's the Marine that you actually try to save. But he ends up getting taken by the elites. Can you kill him? Oh, you can't... Oh, look at that. <laughs> I did not know you can actually see the Marine. See, another point of me saying when you replay games, you always find something new. I swear to God, I did not know you can actually see the Marine here. It would have been funny if you could actually kill him. It affects the cutscene. That'd be so funny. And the elites come out from that way. Okay. What about the the daughter of the guy? Where's she at? I think the elites drop from here. Huh. That's interesting. I'm going. I'm going, cat. Where's the rest of your unit? We got split. I don't think they... It sounded bad on the cops. All right, Corporal. Stay put. We'll get you a combat surgeon. Damn. Plasma damage. Found something. I'll take that, Six. Not your domain. I got a live one over here. Uh, come on. Uh, Archie, come. Yeah. It's alright. Uh, I'm not going to yeah. hurt you. You're in, yeah. George, I got her. Uh, Keep still, yeah. and I'll release you. What's the say? It's over. We've been engaged. Bad guy coming out. Stay on the entrance. Two, handle her. Five and six, clear the hole. Uh, the mer the freaking screams the uh, marine makes are pretty horrifying. Pretty well done. Whoever you voiced that man, the screams are just uh, pretty. They're like very. They're very real. <laughs> it sounds like they're actual screams, you know. Which, of course, you know they are, but like, very well done is what I'm trying to say. Um, kill these grunts. But imagine just seeing an elite, dude. Elites are so goddamn tall. 
<clears throat> it's just crazy. <clears throat> Honestly, man, like seeing an elite in real life would be so crazy. Because grunts are essentially as tall as us. And we're speaking like about like the average height. <clears throat> and you know that's that's pretty scary. I mean imagine an elite. An elite is like what, like three grunts combined or something? Maybe four? Pretty goddamn scary. They're tall as heck. <clears throat> Even Master Chief is smaller than the uh, the elites, I believe. He's like a bit smaller, I think. So that's pretty crazy, because John himself is freaking tall as heck. He's a tall boy. <laughs> it's all because of that argument, argumentation and stuff like that. Super soldier. Hey, look, you can get up here. Look, a new strat as well, man. I just discovered this, I swear to God. You can crouch jump onto these pipes, and you could just, you know, lay down some covering fire. Look at that. What is he doing? He's messing with the thing. <laughs> well, kill. Oh, there's the energy sword one. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm going to stay here. See, look, this is so good. Look at this, man. Freaking legendary strats right there. That's what I'm going to be using. All right. All right, Carter. I got it. I got it. Give me this sword. Give him a little good old bag. So they kind of nerfed the teabagging a bit. <laughs> so I actually do want to test out how the teabagging works. Halo 3, hands down, has the best teabagging system. Or at least physics is the prop proper word to uh, use, I would say. Because, like, when you teabag an elite, you know, his body... You know what, let's, let's just get on with the mission. I don't want to go on more into that. I believe this is the ending, so... Thank you guys for watching. And if you do enjoy this kind of stuff, I do anything, Halo. How long? Consider well, subscribing. Left. Like the video as well. Shows your support. If the question is when will the station be back online, two weeks earliest. This is plasma damage. All major uplink components are fried. Two minutes is too long. They this shot the I'm thing. Splicing into the main overland bundle to get you a direct line to Colonel Holland. You're in my light, Commander. <laughs> Cat is so pushy sometimes. Find out what she knows. <sighs> What's your name? Do you live around here? I'm Evan George. Shada. Shada? Se potrozumev. Your accent sounds familiar. Shoprum? Tangari. Friend of yours? Father. Shine along. I'm sorry. Why would you be? Big man forgets what he is sometimes. She just lost her father. She needs a full psychiatric workup. She's not the only one. Lock it down, both of you. Get her on her feet. The body stays here. Thank you, sir. Signa. It's patchy, but it's there. I'll take it. Let's not touch anything. You wouldn't want to ground this place. I'm barely getting you. What's your situation? Over? Colonel, this is Noble One. There are no rebels. The Covenant are on reach. Acknowledge? Come again, Noble One? Did you say Covenant? Affirmative. It's the Winter Contingency. May God help us all. Wow, so that conversation between Carter and um, Keys is pretty spine-chilling. I really like that moment in the campaign where, you know, he just notifies them about the Covenant being on reach. It's just really spine-chilling, I would say. Um, but yeah, that's going to be the end of part one. I'm going to be doing parts on each uh, mission. So each mission should have its own part. I don't know how long these are going to be. They're probably going to be pretty long, to be honest. The first one's 
going to be the longest just because I like end up introducing the series and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, you guys already know what this is pretty much anyways. It's just a playthrough of Reach and it's really nice just playing on that higher frame rate and stuff and it feels so much good like if you play 360 reach and then switch over to this it's like a big difference you really can feel a difference may not seem like it but it it really plays differently it feels so much more smooth on uh, reach or mcc i meant and yeah it's really cool how you know reach came to uh mcc it's just awesome it's really great and i can't wait to uh you know play more and stuff um, but yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy. Of course, consider subscribing and like the video as well as it shows your support. And I do anything Halo. So yeah, appreciate you guys watching. See you guys on the next one. Peace.